The Mountain West Conference sends a record six teams to the NCAA tournament, and several of those teams will be favorites in their first round matchup. One of those is the Nevada Wolf Pack. They take on Dayton on Thursday. Is Nevada overvalued? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, let me tell you about a promo we have available at wagertalk and sportsmemo.com. Using the promo code JESSE7, as you can see below, you can get $30 off any seven-day all-access, all-sports package from any of the great handicappers at WagerTalk or Sports Memo. That includes myself at sportsmemo.com. My picks have been, let's, let's be honest, they've been hot garbage over the last few days, but I'm still the number one handicapper for the last 365 days at sportsmemo.com. I'm telling you right now, it's the calm before the storm. The tournament's about to kick off. No better time than right now to use that promo code and get 30 bucks off a seven-day pass. Get yourself the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, let's talk about this game. We've got the Nevada Wolfpack, a slight favorite, minus one against Dayton. And uh, the total is sitting at 136 and a half. And that will be my focus here is the total. Uh, if you weren't under a rock last year, you will know that the totals went 33 and 11 to the under in the first round of the tournament. And uh, perhaps you'd be naive to think that that could happen again this year. Um, and I'm certainly under no illusions that it will be as dramatic as it was last year. But I'm fairly confident that you will see more unders than overs in the first round of the tournament. The data does support that. The numbers I'm looking at is 58% uh, of the under the last five years, 55% of the under the last 20 years, and over the last 20 years, 17 of the last 20 NCAA tournaments saw more unders than overs, and uh, it, it just makes sense. These teams slow it down. They increase the intensity on defense, and uh, I, I'm fairly confident we'll see lower scores than we're accustomed to seeing throughout the regular season. And the only reason not to continue to uh, follow this trend of unders is if you think the books have lowered the totals to a point where there's no longer any value. So we've got some data here. We will discuss it. You got Dayton, the Dayton Flyers. They rank 347th nationally, averaging 66.3 possessions per game, one of the slowest paced teams in the country. However, their last three games, uh, they've averaged 71 possessions per game. And you might think, oh no, they're playing a little bit faster. However, one of those games was an overtime game against VCU. And of course, if you're playing additional minutes, you're going to get more possessions. So that goes a, a little of the way to explaining uh, their increased average of 71 possessions over their last three games. Uh, if you look at the entire sheet of all 362 teams, you'll notice that well over 90% of teams have a, a lower average in their last three games than they have overall. And when you think about it, that's uh, final games of the regular season, trying to make uh, make postseason or get, get better position for tournaments or conference tournament games. And uh, at this time of year, you do see teams ratchet up the defense, and slow down the pace. And there's certainly plenty of evidence of that. Nevada, also uh, not, not exactly a fast-paced team either. They rank 275th, averaging 68.7 possessions per game, just 66.8 possessions in their last three games. Uh, Nevada is number two in the Mountain West in opponent scoring average, allowing 67.1 points per game. Dayton is number four in the A-10, allowing 66.3 points per game. And uh, Nevada is coming off of a, a high-scoring loss to Colorado State, while Dayton, they lost by a score of 65-57 to 57 to Duquesne. And you look at this total of 136.5, and, a half, and uh, you, you ask yourself, have, have the bookmakers dropped this number down a little bit? to compensate for the, the under trends in the NCAA tournament, to account for the fact that this is an elimination game. And I, I don't really think so. Uh, if you look at Dayton, Dayton's recent totals in the Duquesne game and the VCU game in their conference tournaments, 
lower numbers than we're seeing here in this first round matchup. If you look at Nevada's last five games, they've had totals under 140 in four of their last five games. So this total of uh, 136 and a half doesn't look any lower than it normally would be to me. I, I think there's still plenty of value taking the under here, but that's not the direction I'm going to go. I'm actually going to look at team totals. And since Nevada is a slight favorite, their team total is uh, a little higher than Dayton's. And the play is going to be on Nevada's team total under 68 and a half. If you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you right away. Good luck, and we'll see you again tomorrow.